I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news, I am the bad news. And in this video, we're gonna find out if foam speaker baffles will increase the amount of mid bass in your door speakers by installing boom mat speaker baffles in the slab box, which is my 2011 Scion XB car audio build. It's not a race car, it's a bass car. The reason we're doing this is honestly, I've just been curious about these things for a long time. I've known like that they existed and uh, their supposed benefits, but I had never actually tried them myself. So, uh, you know, I had like $12 lying around. I was like, it, let's find out. And I figured like worst case scenario, if they don't work, I'm out like a burrito. You know what I mean? Like, not the biggest expense in the world. You know what I mean? You seen the junkyard speaker install video? I'm still running those junkyard speakers, the uh, the Pioneer TS something something something. I forget what they are. So I'm still running those until I figure out, you know, like my real door speakers and and the amp that's gonna power them. And I figured that since they're kind of lacking in the mid bass area, in order to not have my door speakers distort, I had to EQ out a lot of like the low mid frequencies. Because of that, I wanted to kind of like cheat a little bit of mid bass by installing some speaker baffles. I picked up these boom mats. So they're basically just like some little baffles that go behind your speaker. So they're supposed to work by creating a weather tight seal around the speaker. And in doing so, they also create like a little enclosure for your speaker that is supposed to isolating correct frequency responses while dampening reverberation. So that's directly from their Amazon page. You know, whatever, we'll see. <laughs> but since they're only a few bucks and they make any sort of claim to an acoustical benefit, I wanted to try, you know, like they're not expensive whatsoever. So it's, it's more of a, a test to see if these are really doing anything worthwhile. You know what I mean? If I can spend $12 and get some mid bass out of my speakers, guess what the hell I'm about to do? You know what I mean? Like it's worth a shot. And plus I figured there's probably a lot of people like me who are just wondering, do these things actually work? So today we are going to find out. All you have to do to install these is actually remove your speakers and then put the speaker baffle behind it and then reinstall the speaker. It's like super easy. The first step is going to be to take off the door panel that dude would be doing this shit right now on my car it's pretty simple so i always use these trim removal tools if you don't have them you don't need one you can just use like a screwdriver or something but i, I really like these especially if you've painted yours like mine this won't scratch the paint or at least it's a lot less likely ever since i've painted these i really hate taking them out <laughs> definitely scratch it up along the edge but hey it is what it is and then there's a screw right behind it and then another screw in the actual little cup right here once you got the screws out, you can uh, pretty much just go around and there's a bunch of little pressure clips like all around the edge and you can literally just pop those out. You don't actually need any tools for this. Kind of give it a little pull like that. And you gotta pull out the, uh, the tweeter up here too. Almost forgot. That just pulls out, connect it back here. Definitely easier if you uh, unplug everything first. Okay, so to revise what I said, it's definitely best if you uh, pop off the little armrest with the controls on it, unplug that, disconnect the tweeter wire. It's not like in there, it's just a, there's like a little hook. So you just move that out of the way. And then I just pop off the whole little handle. You can actually take off the little metal things. It's not difficult. I feel like it's just easier to remove it that way. Here's our door panel. So we'll check out a quick before and after to see what you guys think. Obviously it's hard to judge based on hearing it through your phone speakers, through this microphone, but you get the idea. One door panel is off, so it's not like, you know, scientifically accurate, but uh, we'll leave one door panel off for the after as well, just to fairly test it. Look at those homemade speaker mounts though. So I'm listening at kind of low level and with the sub turned off, really all I'm listening for is the low mids. I'm just trying to see if I get a little bit of more, more juice out of like the, the kicks and, and the snares and stuff like that. So let's see what's up. Now I'm about to take these off real quick. It's just uh, four screws and then uh, we'll put the mat on the back. See what we got. There it is installed. The only reason you can see this wire is because I installed these poorly. I uh, soldered them instead of putting some connectors on them. So in order to not have to undo that, I just went over the wire. It'll still give us the idea of what we're going for. Still let us know if this is worthwhile or not. I want everybody to see, I put this door panel back on, even though I didn't need to. I still need this off to do some other stuff, but I put it back on just so that the test would be the same. As you can see, now we got some, uh, some boom mats behind the speaker. Well, it's behind both of them, but you just have to, have to trust me on that. Let's see if these things actually do anything. We're gonna put the volume to the same and just uh, bump it for a minute, see, see what we got.
I'll put it this way. I can hear what they were going for, but at least in my application, this is not the solution. So overall, I'd say that the speaker baffles for weather sealing and stuff, I'm sure they probably work great, you know, for just purely protecting your speaker. But as far as for adding any kind of acoustic qualities or any kind of like sonic improvement, I would not say that they do that. There's maybe a little bit of extra mid bass in there, but it's negligible. And even so, it's not clean. Like it was there, but it was not good. So, you know, no, no offense to boom mats. And I'm not even saying that it's not the right solution for everybody. Cause it might, I, I'm yeah, sure, yeah. I'm sure in, in somebody's application, it probably does a decent job at what it's supposed to, but it's just not doing what I need it to. The foam is just not rigid enough. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not really a right material for the job that they're saying that it accomplishes. That's not doing nothing. You know what I mean? Because it's just flimsy. Like it just kind of, <laughs> As far as the actual sound, it just wasn't what I was looking for. Now, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because I didn't install them in the correct fashion that I would, you know, if I was like for real installing them, the wire was coming through. So it wasn't an exact seal. Maybe I didn't tighten them down all the way because it was just for testing purposes. I didn't install them to the same standards that I would if I was gonna finish the install. But overall, it just wasn't going in a direction that seemed really necessary. For that reason, I'm gonna have to pass on them. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use them if you still feel like you want to try it for yourself they're pretty cheap you know the links are down in the description if you want to try them but personally i don't really have a use for them and like i said the material that it's made out of isn't solid enough to create the enclosure that would isolate the frequencies the way that they say it does. But to be honest, I did not think I was gonna magically be able to find some mid bass by installing some foam speaker baffles. I would have been much more surprised had it actually worked, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the speaker baffles, even if they did work, it was only meant to be a temporary solution until I figured out which door speakers I was gonna run with. And I finally decided I'm going with the uh, Def Bonds Apocalypse Arnold AP M67AC. These are the ferrite. So these are like the, the fat magnet, not the Neo. And I'm not even gonna lie, one of the reasons I went with Def Bonds, black and green. Not even kidding you. I don't care what somebody says about it. And these are gonna be the real door speakers. Check it out, check it out. Boom. Definitely stay tuned because that install is coming up, not next video, but the one after that. Before I could install these though, and while I got the doors off, and since we're on this journey for mid bass, I figured the easiest thing to do would be to finish the sound deadening job that I started like a year ago. That's what we're doing in the next video. We're gonna finish the sound deadening job, and we're also gonna discuss why you would use sound deadening in the first place. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with speaker baffles, or let me know if you think that maybe I didn't test them fairly, didn't do it right or something like that. Maybe I did something wrong in the install and I should give them another shot or uh, let me know if you had similar experiences when you tried and just found that they weren't really they weren't really cutting it check me out on Instagram and TikTok at the bad news the ABADNEWZ support the channel by checking out the links in the description some of those links are affiliate links which means that as an affiliate I'll receive a small commission you'll pay nothing extra that's kind of just a win-win for both of us and a nice way to support the channel I think with that said that's pretty much all I got for this one so always see the bad news first Skirt.